Today we're looking at spice bombs in Falcon 4 BMS. SPICE is an electro-optical slash GPS guidance kit. It converts unguided bombs into precision, drop and forget guided bombs. SPICE combines the advantages of satellite guidance with electro-optical guidance, giving it the ability to engage camouflaged and hidden targets while operating in all weather and lighting conditions and man in the loop capability for high precision. It has a glide range of approximately 60 kilometers or 32 nautical miles, which allows the strike aircraft to remain outside the threat envelope of most short and medium range air defense systems. SPICE 1000 and 2000 are add-on kits for Mark 83 1000 pound and Mark 84 2000 pound bombs. A PAPA designation indicates the bomb includes the BLU-109 penetration warhead. Developed by Raphael Advanced Defense, SPICE achieved initial operational capability in 2003 with the Israeli Air Force. Our objective is to destroy the control tower and SSR radar at Anjin Air Base. Recon the area. Expand the Anjin Air Base target list and select the control tower. Select weapon targets and accept the control tower as weapon target 1. Select the SSR radar from the target list, increment the target number and accept the radar as weapon target 2. Open the DTC to review and confirm the weapon targets. To select steer points to update automatically, press 4 on the UFC to select the steer point DED page and DCS sequence. Press DCS return to return to the CNI page. Set and engage autopilot to steer point and altitude hold. Select air to ground master mode. Set master arm to arm. To select the SPICE DED page, select list on the UFC, press 0 and enter. BP is the mnemonic for inertially aided munitions. Image front is the guidance type selected. However, the only guidance type available in BMS is GPS. Auto slash manual is not implemented. The current target subpage is indicated. Note that the current page can display information on all spice bombs loaded on the aircraft. The page displays one line for each weapon loaded. To select the desired station, use DCS up and DCS down. The available options are Impact Angle, Impact Azimuth, Weapon Target ID and the Weapon Station. Impact Angle is not implemented. Impact Azimuth can be changed to the desired bomb heading to strike the target. If set to zero the bomb will fly direct. With an Azimuth set, Glide Range will decrease and LAR2 will be displayed on the DLZ. Weapon target ID is the target number assigned to the bomb. And the station number indicates the station on which the bomb is loaded. To set the weapon target for the spice bomb on station 3, press DCS down, enter 1 and press enter. To set weapon target and impact azimuth at station 7, Press DCS down, enter 2 for the weapon target, use DCS sequence to select the desired field and enter 330 for the impact azimuth.
the SMS page is selected on the right MFD. To align the bombs, press OSB7 to power them. Alignment will take approximately 3 minutes. Alignment status is indicated at OSB6 until ready is displayed. Ripple bomb release may be selected with OSB9. When using Ripple, an average is used between the target ranges. Steer point 5 is the IP. At the IP we turn towards the target at steer point 6. The three lines below the radar altimeter indicate time to go before next queue, system time at next queue, and bearing and range to the target. When time to go before next queue reaches zero, the carrot will be at the top of the DLZ. The next queue will be weapon impact if released now. Disconnect the autopilot. Maintain airspeed above 265 knots. To release the bomb on station 3, when the carrot reaches the top of the DLZ, press and hold weapon release. Loser. When the carrot reaches the top of law 2, press and hold weapon release. Loser. The bomb on station 7 is released. Passing. As always, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Warning, 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 warning.